For those of you who don't know much about Germany, get ready for this. One of the most technologically advanced countries in the world living in balance with nature. No slums, no gangs, a female running the country. They have zero population growth and one of the most stable economies in the world. No garbage on the streets, freeways with no speed limit, more bicycles than cars, and lots of chocolate. Oh, <clears throat> wait, wait a minute. The first thing you notice is that all taxis are Mercedes. Everything is luxury quality. There is such a historic charm to this country with castles and old towns that are six, seven, eight hundred years old. But the one thing that I noticed the most about Germany was how green it was. Germans love nature. In fact, there's more green and open fields and forests than there are towns and buildings. Sometimes we'd walk through a forest and just happen upon a castle. When I got to my first train station and saw that they were selling preserved jars of weeds, I knew I was in for a treat. Germans actually prize many of their wild plants. I mean, I knew they were into wine growing grapes and stuff, but this was getting interesting. Germany is one of the leading countries in alternative energy. Everywhere you look, there's windmills. Almost every town, every field, everywhere. It's not that Germany is particularly windy, but when Germans put their mind to something, they get serious, they do it big, and they do it right. The energy these things are producing must be mind-staggering. I have never seen so many windmills in all my life. It's like being in a science fiction movie. There must be a million of them. And stinging nettle is everywhere. That stuff is amazing. It's one of the most powerful herbs there is. This country is a smorgasbord for free food and medicine in the form of wild plants. Most Americans have no clue which wild plants are edible. But to Germans, it's almost second nature. Having 2,000 years of history, they know the value of the wild plants that you could literally sustain, heal, and feed yourself. When I made the free food and medicine DVD set, I had no clue how worldwide and popular this subject matter really was. And what amazed me even more is it's the same plants. No matter what country you go to, it's the same plants. Germans are really in touch with nature and they love to be a part of it any chance they get. One proof of this is when you go to a fancy restaurant and see something like dandelions and other wild weeds incorporated in the menu. It's not uncommon to see food like this for sale in train stations. So while we whisk along on a high-speed train that goes over 200 miles an hour, we sit back and enjoy our healthy food in pure luxury. The blending of style, workmanship, and technology in these super clean trains is amazing. As you look out the window, you start noticing something really interesting. Almost all the houses have solar panels. Again, this isn't really a sunny country, but did you know that Germany is the number one producer and user of solar technology in the world? That's right, number one in the world. Put that together with wind power and you start realizing that Germany's well on its way to becoming self-sufficient. Hey world, are you paying attention? The most popular vehicle in Germany is not a car, it's a bicycle. And come rain or shine, they hit the streets by the millions. This not only saves energy, but is a major reason Germans are a lot healthier than the rest of the world. German cars are the cutest little energy efficient things you'll ever see, but boy are they fast. And speaking of green, even the rooftops in the cities are used to grow stuff. If it's a flat roof, it's got green on it. If it's slanted, it's got solar panels. It makes you feel so good to see all this. In the middle of the city of Munich is the most amazing food market. It's huge. It's world famous, actually. This is really cool. We're in the middle of Germany here, and look at these exotic fruits they have here. They have lychees and dragon fruit. And pomegranates and star fruit and even cactus. Everything from durian to jackfruit to stuff that I've never even seen before. Fresh exotic foods flown in from all over the world and the coolest thing is seeing these wild weeds for sale and any kind of fresh juice you can imagine. All cities have farmers markets now so that's not a problem anymore for getting fresh food but a lot of Germans actually grow their own food. This is my uncle's garden. Look at this stuff. Can you believe it? What a concept. Grow your own food for free. Just imagine free food and medicine in your own backyard. My uncle and his family get over 90% of their food from their own backyard. You can taste the difference. They also grow and cultivate all kinds of herbs and wild plants. My aunt's garden is in the ruins of the family house that was bombed in the Second World War and never rebuilt. It's a beautiful sanctuary of plants and flowers and life. All the gardens have all kinds of beautiful colorful flowers to attract the pollinating bugs and also the flowers actually give off chemicals that protect protect the plants. Plants communicate with each other and they watch out for each other. It's an amazing symbiosis of beauty and function. Germans love nature and they try to live in harmony with it as much as possible.
Okay, so off I go on my high-speed tour of Germany to promote my book, Heal Yourself. And boy, was Germany ready. It was standing room only everywhere I went. We had no books left after the first day. We had to order more. I gave lectures in Spire, Munich, Hamburg, Stuttgart. I can't remember all the places I went. The energy was amazing. The people were so into the subject matter of everything from eating wild foods to healing their relationships to doing the right thing, no matter what. The world is waking up, becoming one and maturing very quickly. No matter where you go, everyone is hungry for the truth. Und es kann jetzt in diesem Moment, in dieser Sekunde anfangen. Yes. Those who think Germans are cold haven't been to Germany. They're not into the superficial. They're into the things in life that matter.